ladies and gentlemen, many of you might have heard about Florida building a detention center not far off where alligators and pythons, water moccasin, and some of the most deadly creatures in Florida, they inhabit that area. And the fact that they want to put this detention center right in that location is the reason why it is labeled as alligator Alcatraz. You know, you may think that it is hard to believe that people still exist that would even put humans in harm's way of deadly creatures. No, you're dealing with the offspring. Just like their forefathers, they didn't give this a second thought. So if you immigrants are not seeing the light, perhaps you will see it now. Anytime they want to put you in a detention center around where 400 pound alligators live, they're telling you they don't care about you. Not only do they not care about you, they don't care about your women, children, your elderly, none of you. And they don't care if they put you in a deadly situation. This is all the more reason why you really should take up Donald Trump's advice and self-deport yourself out of here or you can end up in a facility like this. And I don't believe this is just for people in Florida, y'all. I think they are gonna catch people from many different locations across this country illegally here and take them down to this facility when it's done. And it's no telling how many of these people could potentially get snatched by alligators. You know, when I reflect back to how these folks, because I have read in the history how they just thought it was hilarious that our babies, babies that never got to grow up and be my forefathers and foremothers because they lost their lives as babies, ending up in the belly of a 400 pound alligator because of just evil and selfishness. A people with no single shred of morals or humanity. They're not gone, y'all. Their offspring is all around us. And this act came out of the mind of their offspring. Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump are very much for this, along with other politicians down in Florida that are very much for this detention center to be built. There are a lot of alligators in Florida, along with other deadly creatures like water moccasins and pythons, all kinds of wildlife down there that can easily take a human being out. And this is what they have in mind for you illegals. And even many of you that are legal, and we know it's a bunch of BS that they're only going after criminals. They are going after all. And the fact that Donald Trump was able to get the nod from the Supreme Court, they're not going to care what the hell your status is. You can end up in a facility like this. And if you're not careful, you can get snatched by an alligator. and. 
these folks that are putting you in harm's way are not going to care. They're not going to care at all. So you still have a choice to leave on your own or run the risk of ending up in a place like this once it is finished. And ladies and gentlemen, they're not going to just put people that they catch in Florida in this alligator Alcatraz. They're going to put people in there from all over the country. It's not going to just be people in Florida. It's going to be people in other states sent right down to this alligator Alcatraz. History always repeats itself. And whenever I hear alligator stories out of Florida, I think about my very young forefathers and foremothers that did not get to reach adulthood because some evil bastard decided to hand them over to an alligator. So much history has been hidden. But we are in a time where things will be revealed. And the actions of these people show they haven't changed at all. Mm -mm. We're just in a different era. Y'all, please leave your comments and let me know how you really feel. Shalom.